Welcome to another edition of Crisis in the Toyverse. We wrap up Vinnie Media Running Wild with the Arkham Asylum series by looking at the Joker vinyl figure. A huge shout out to Diamond Select Toys for making all these Vinnie Mate reviews possible. On the front, of course, you see the Joker artwork, or the Joker encased, if you will excuse me, in his plastic prison with Batman right there. We flip it to the side, we got some nice Joker artwork of the figure overlooking a city. And then we go to the back, as you can see, we've already talked about Harley Quinn and Batman, and now we're moving on to the Joker. Collect them all! It's Vinnie Mate Media, brother! Let's go ahead and release this Joker from its plastic prison and see what's going on with it. And we're back, folks, and the Joker is ready to be your guest. Be your guest. Put our service to the test. I kid, of course. The Joker in a very playful pose, as you can see. Of course, he's done in the Vinny Mate style, which is always nice, if I say so myself. Let's go ahead and zoom in and look at that devilish grin that the Joker has. Like I said, he is done in his Vinny Mate form, or in Mini Mate form, excuse me, just larger size. Now, none of these are articulated. They're in a pre-pose, but if you think of them like Funkos and whatnot, they make a really cool display piece. But looking at the head, you can see it's done with that Mini Mate style to it. We got the nice facial features on it with that Joker grin. Lips painted wonderfully, the teeth looking disgusting as always, and of course we have some facial features designed around it to make the figure stand out. On the side we got a Mini Mate style ear. The hair is sculpted very nicely and painted well enough too. Moving on to the body itself, we got a closed hand here, but we got these nice pinstripes that are all around the figure. Help make the suit pop, if you will green bow tie we got a flower we got buttons we got different colors with the yellow and the purple and the white and the green and of course he has this hand open so if you have a playing card hand or something you can definitely make your joker stand out a little more moving on to the side like i said you see that the pinstripes continue you got nice details on the back of the arm as well we got the back of his jacket that looks well too and then if we move it down to the body we got a nice patch there that's sculpted very nicely it even has a little gold chain on it which i think is very nice that's made of plastic of course and then we have the joker shoes he's a styling and woo profiling type of man and on the bottom here we have that legal mumbo jumbo well, let's move the camera back out like a chip and, um, you know, overall, a really fun figure. I had a lot of fun doing some toy photography, as the cool kids say, with this guy. I think he's definitely worth a purchase if you have the money to spare. Uh, he looks good. Uh, he stands very well. Uh, I like the pose he's in. Um, I guess if I had a minor complaint, I kind of would have liked a different pose. But the pose that's on the figure itself definitely works well enough for it. So overall, like I said, you got money to spare. Pick these up. They're really cool, especially if you're a fan of Vinnie Mates, or excuse me, Mini Mates. You're going to enjoy this. And also, if you're a Joker fan, it's a little something different on the shelf. Besides those high-end statues and those super articulated figures, this little thing's fun at the office. It's fun in the bedroom. It's fun on a shelf. It's fun in a room full of bees, whatever the case may be. So... Go out and pick it up if you can. As always, guys, I want to thank you for your support. I appreciate you stopping by and seeing what's going on with this channel. As always, once again, a huge shout out to Diamond Select Toys for making this review possible. And speaking of people who help make reviews possible, go check out some of the other great people that help support this channel. Head over to extreme-sets.com. For all your pop-up needs. While you're at it on the World Wide Web. Throw in your Google machine. Undercovercapes.com for all things geekery in the podcast verse. And lastly, head over to Instagram. Throw a follow at Toy Lover Crew. For some amazing toy photography done by some very talented people. Also, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter under the handles. 
Bob OF and Mac. Guys, thank you so much. Stay tuned at the end for the slideshow. And until next time, great googly moogly.